offers, do you feel like there has been maybe a shift in uh, Israeli, um, not just policies, but in public opinion? Or do these uh, figures seem quite uh, secure and consistent to you? Well, I think that for most uh, Israelis, first of all, for the past 20 years, de facto, the Palestinian capital has been Ramallah. So I think it has, uh, you know, kind of settled in the mentality uh, and perception uh, of people. Now, everybody knows, obviously, that the Palestinian Authority uh, claims East Jerusalem as its a future capital of a Palestinian uh, state. Uh, but we also know that in the past 20 years, there have been negotiations between Israel and the Palestinian Authority over Jerusalem. And Jerusalem, obviously, is one of the most sensitive issues uh, in the conflict between Israel and the Palestinians. Whenever the issue of Jerusalem was raised, whether it was Camp David in 2000 uh, or in 2008 and 2014, uh, Jerusalem was always a very, very sensitive uh, issue with conflict, like, conflicting claims between Israelis and Palestinians, conflicting uh, narratives, and it's probably the most complicated issue in this conflict. But we forgot to mention that, you know, when President Trump announced that he was transferring the embassy in his uh, speech, he also said that he did not preclude the uh, final status of the city. He did not specify in which borders he recognized Israel's uh, capital. And he also said that the final status of the holy places will have to be negotiated. So it's not that he shut the door to future negotiations. And this is also something that has to be uh, reminded. And meanwhile, Dr. Nov